In celebration of 20 years of Flatface, I'm proud to announce the release of the G16 board. The Flatface G16 is the best board I've ever made. So I've been making fingerboards for 20 years now, and my goal has always been to make the board that performs the best and is the easiest to use. So basically I've been trying all different shapes, all different dimensions to make it as good as it possibly could be. And now I've landed on this really special shape called the G16, which is a low concave shape with a little bit steeper kicks than you'd normally see. And it just works amazingly. I always envisioned making a fingerboard that was so high performing that it would reduce the amount of effort that you have to use in order to do tricks. So basically, this is the easiest fingerboard to use. I had to really dial down the amount of pressure and effort that I use to fingerboard. So after using it for about a week, I really, really got used to it and I was certain that this is the best board that I've ever made. The inspiration for the G16. So in 2014, I made a two-tone board for my G15.12 mold and it came out a little bit steeper than normal. And for whatever reason, that board was just so good and I've been using it for just about 10 years now. And so I realized like, okay, this, this is really what I like. The low concave seems to just stay out of your way and make it easier to do tricks. And the kicks being slightly steeper for the G16 means you can actually use less and less effort to get the same pop. Um, so you can focus more on doing really technical and difficult tricks rather than focusing on popping the board, which is, that's 20 years ago technology, getting the board off the ground. We've got past that by now. So now it's how can we make a board that does what you want it to do, even if it's a ridiculous trick, like an upside down fingered heel flip and you want to actually control it. You need a board that's fine tuned to perform the best in every situation with the least amount of effort to make it happen. And that's what I think I've achieved with the G16. See, that's already better. That's good.
So the G16 boards are 33.6 millimeters wide and they're designed for use with 32 millimeter trucks. I specially designed this board to be good with both Black River trucks and dynamic trucks. I actually had to tinker around to find the perfect spot and then the perfect corresponding kick size to make it so that they both give you the best performance. I've noticed some boards are better with Black River trucks and others are better with dynamic trucks. And I wanted to make a board that really works optimally with both of those because they're both great trucks. I like them both a lot. They're the highest quality professional trucks around. And so basically if you want a wider wheelbase, which is going to give you like a steeper feel so you can really pop like either pop higher or just pop with kind of less effort, use the dynamic trucks. And if you want a more realistic feel, a little bit more ability to do tricks lower, use the Black River trucks. You should use the 32 millimeter ones and you'll have a very small amount of overhang of the board, like it's slightly wider than the trucks. And that's how I've been using my fingerboards for at least 10 years, probably longer by now. Always having a board that's slightly wider than the trucks. And I find that that just really helps for performance um, and feeling just feels awesome. So that's what I recommend. And I've been making fingerboards for 20 years. So there's a whole lot of trial and error that goes into it. And I'm very in tune with how each little change affects my fingerboarding. And so that's how I've been able to develop the Flatface G16 board. It's the. It's just the. Try him out. Do tricks. I'm really excited to share it with you guys, and everybody's been enjoying them a lot so far, so pick one up and let me know what you think. It's the best board I've ever been able to make. Front 180, like, just crazy tricks that you dream up of, 